Center. And today is number 82 of 365 Days of Awesome, Celebrate Success Through Service. And I have our service hero with me today. And some of you may even recognize this wonderful woman. Let me tell you about um, Angel Marie, I wanna get it, Monticelli. And yay. Um, I am recognizing her, and she's actually been on my radar to recognize for a little while, and let me tell you why. Uh, you know, I meet a lot of amazing people with amazing messages, books, talks, seminars, all of it, and they all have something to share. And I, I really try to learn from that. What Angel has to share actually meant something personal to someone that I that's that's in my family that I dearly love. I'm not going to go into the specifics, but it actually what her message was was like a piece of the puzzle that she needed. And oh my gosh, she is shining on, Angel. She is shining on. So I want to say thank you for that. Thank you, Miss Service Hero. And I want to also say that I understand congratulations are in order. <laughs> that you recently had a 13 year anniversary this last weekend. Is that correct? It is, it absolutely is. And first of all, I wanna say thank you to you for what <laughs> you do and how you have captured the community and helped the community and the world. So thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. That, that means a lot to me, especially coming from you, because I know you are a woman that is building a community and knows what to do. You know, let's talk. I want to hear about what it is that you, you, what is it about this 13 year anniversary? Why don't you explain? I'm so curious. Okay, well, the 13 year anniversary is for Lightworkers Gifts. Now, that was a brick and mortar, a building, 3,000 square foot, that I had, and it was a wellness center. It was for the community and for the, for really for the world. It was a place to come 13 years ago to come from the inside out to really recognize who you are, to build that self-confidence. And I have it every year. I don't have the building, but Lightworkers Gifts, underneath that now is Angel Marie Shines, which is the Shine On movement. Because what happened was, it was crazy. I realized years ago. Uh-oh. We're... You know what? It is live. So she'll show up again. We're bringing her back up. Okay, she's back. <laughs> okay, take two. So, okay, you realized what? I, I realized that even years ago that the Shine On movement was at Lightworkers Gifts. That's where I started it. The message is the same after thousands of counseling and coaching. And I'm also a Reiki master and do many different classes on energy and how you build your energy and how you create your energy. And it, it all came together with the Shine On movement. And when I released, and I say it that way, I didn't quit. I released that building because that was a lot. That was oh, a yeah. lot. Yeah. I almost died three yeah. times. I almost died from heart attacks and just stress. Right. I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So removing myself and being able to come out and, and write my book about the shine on, which was really about the center, about helping people with their confidence, their energy, just like you do. And just like like people out there that are watching, it's about that joy and laughter. But uh -huh. it's choosing that. Right? I mean, it's changing yeah. that. Because when yeah. people come together to raise their awareness of positive mindset, mm -hmm. they help themselves to remember that you matter. You do that. You matter. That every single person matters. So that's you know, what I, you know, I I love it. I'm going to bring up your book because I know you referred to it, and I want to bring it so people can see. I know that this is one of the covers, and. Who's this with you? Well, I'm going to show too because this that was the first edition. We went with a second edition. And okay. that, is, that is my dog. And guess what? What her name is? Uh, I know the punchline. <laughs> it's Shine. Let's bring Shine up. 
Jesus. Yes, I think I, I love, look at Shine. Shine smiles too. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, she's we have we have people that are actually wishing you a happy anniversary late. Oh, thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Yes. She's one of our she's one of our ambassadors for the buddies movement. And uh, we have Vicky in the house right now. Wanted to say hi. So let's let's keep going. So okay, so Shine and shine on and the power of movement and power of positive and now let me ask you this because i'm going to bring up a different picture too with this i mean, hear you're doing all this cool stuff people would think oh yeah you can do it yeah right i, I can't because i've got this and i've got that but why don't you explain a little bit more about your background and what you've got going on and why this is so absolutely big, your message. It absolutely because it is a mindset and what's going on with your mindset. Now, I'll tell you, I have been diagnosed, and it's all through my family, lupus, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and Sjogren's, all immune system. And mm -hmm. as I was telling you earlier, just standing here right now, I have – I dropped a heavy duty microwave 30 years ago on my foot and crushed my big toe. So it is not happy now with the A word. You can say the word, but I don't want to say it. But no, I, 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 no, let's not. We won't say it. But, but right. It, it's just, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> so, so, but. You are, and, and that's why you said you weren't sitting, you're standing because you're bringing that positive energy flow into your message, into your day, into your life, right? Absolutely. And it's, it's about this and, and, and this, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's also about moving energy. Like I said, I do a lot of energy work. And right. four different modalities that I teach and that I do. And one of them is the Reiki, which Dr. Oz made that famous many years ago. His wife, Lisa, is a Reiki master. Right. And I move that through and I can move the pain. And remember, you cannot laugh and be in pain at the same time. It is scientifically proven. So, and you don't even have to sincerely be laughing to make it work. That's right. You can just start laughing. <laughs> so, and, and, you know, people think that I shine all the time and I'm always in this. But you know what? I really, really take care of myself. Just before yeah. I got on, I laid down on the floor. I recommend mm -hmm. that, not in your bed, on the floor. And I put a timer on for seven minutes. And what did I do? I visualized what I wanted to say. I visualized you and me. I visualized mm -hmm. me being calm. I visualized. And, and if people would just take that. Four minutes, seven minutes, just to lay on the ground because it's uncomfortable so you don't fall asleep. And be able to switch from maybe you're doing an email to maybe you're doing a webinar from maybe the creation. Don't realize right. what happens with your whole brain and your mindset just by breathing in between those and how much more clarity and focus you get. Love it. That's good. And that's something, I mean, in some offices, they might shine. Uh, they might not shine on to that that idea. <laughs> oh yeah, there they go. They're on the floor. They must be changing their duties. Uh, but <laughs> but I'm sure couldn't even if you were in an office situation and you were changing tasks, even if you went somewhere and maybe or even sat in your chair if you needed to and just took those moments to breathe and to re reset. Won't and that work? That's exactly what it is. And if you're in front of a computer like we're both right now, and we're in front of this computer, if you just turn around and turn your chair and turn it around and just put your timer on, I really put your timer on for three to seven minutes and okay. just do some breathing. You would do so much better. I mean, just three minutes of just close your mouth because we have nose hairs for a reason, but we do. Okay. You really, everybody, right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody. 
So Vicki, if you're still online and sharing, how does that feel? Just yeah, we have some others online too. So I know who you are. Okay, you guys need to be doing this. It's an exercise. <laughs> You know what? That actually feels great. You know, it really does. Well, wow. it's proven scientifically that we just energized all of our cells. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you energize them with that smile, that beautiful smile you got on right now, and everybody else is smiling, <laughs> what happens is you're not in pain. You your brain can't do two things. It can't do it. So how no, do I, no. how do I stay out of pain? Right. Well, I'm in pain all the time with this toe. I really am. And I will not do any kind of drugs. No, 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 no. So, I mean, I do a lot of therapies with other practitioners for healing and stuff. However, how do I do from day to day? Because sometimes it's like, ah, oh, I cannot, I can't walk. I cannot walk. What do I do? I stop. I take some deep breaths. I move the energy, release the energy, release the energy. And I walk, I make sure I stand up so I don't go, oh, it's hurting. No. Okay. I'm walking. And I see with, with Reiki, I do see a lot of cancer actually patients because Reiki actually detoxes the, the chemicals and helps detox. I always caution mm -hmm. all of my cancer patients or uh -huh. cancer people, okay, uh -huh. you're probably going to get sick after you see me. Because you're going to release. Because right, 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 right. So a lot of water and those kind of things, right? Yeah, because it helps to release the energy of Reiki, which is universal life force energy. Look mm -hmm. up on, on YouTube, on Dr. Oz, he'll tell you. And it actually releases it, but you'll, you'll have, you know, you might get a little sick, but that's good because it's getting out of you. The toxins from the chemo, ah, is getting out right, of you. Right, right, absolutely, absolutely. In fact, um, I have been to alternative, like, you know, I've been to acupuncturists and such. And one thing that I did not know is that, like, if you stop a cold midstream, it's still in there somewhere. And so, you know, when you start getting all this to come out, if you get sick, it might be even because you did, you changed the natural course of whatever it was that was happening in your body and you need to still let that happen. And, oh boy, I don't want to do that again because I don't want all of it happening at once. <laughs> yes, yes. And we, we hold we hold our issues in our tissues. We really do. Issues in our tissues. That should be a t-shirt. <laughs> issues in your tissues. <laughs> and, and I don't know where I got that at. That wasn't mine. And yeah, okay. but to move, move the energy every day. And that's what I teach is how to release energy wherever you're at. And whatever that happens to be, and that's what I constantly, even with I'm like last week or week before I was on with 200 people at Midwest University, that's a lot of energy. Right. Right. Stage, the first thing I did is went outside, took my shoes off, got in the grass to ground me because that's a lot of energy because I am an empath. And okay. started saying, I release and let go of any and all energies that do not serve me. I release and let go of any and all energy to do and not serve me. My energy, my intelligence, my own self knows what that is. I'll just do it. Right. It's not right, right. And right. you're 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 allowing yourself to then be free to then bring in the positive energy, and then that is what affects people like the missing piece of the puzzle that you helped with my dear loved one. You know, I want to show some pictures. You know, I first met you at one of David Fagan's events, the Spirit Summit, and it was uh, in Phoenix. And uh, he was actually recognizing one of my senior um, advisors, Sherry Watson. And that's why I went. It was my first any type of summit, speaker event, anything since I had started my nonprofit. And so it really is one that will forever stay with me every moment because I was like a kid in a candy store. It was so exciting. And you were and dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, and here's the dancing thing. Yeah, because I seriously got into it. Um, because to Share what you do because it's so cool. Well, what I do is, is the Shine On message, the movement, 
is all about understanding about how to have that positive mindset, remembering you matter, that you really are your own superhero. You're limitless with your self-esteem and you can have and monetize your confidence uh -huh. and your whole clarity and have all that, right? Now, right. what I did was Fizz Anthony, amazing songwriter. Do you know Fizz? No, no, I haven't met Fizz. Well, when Fizz was that still to me? <laughs> yeah, and I will tag okay. him, we'll tag him. But he, okay. I met him and we just went, oh my gosh, he's an amazing songwriter and just, I mean, just everything, visionary. So he said, and I hugged him, I was at this event in LA, and he said, I said, I don't know what you really do, but I, what, what's going on? And he said, I do signature songs. I'm like, oh my God, I want to shine on song. And I said, I, I, that's, I've always wanted a song. Uh -huh. And he said, okay, so we made a deal. And then it took three hours on the phone, and he said, what is your message? And I gave him my message. I, I mean, three hours of talking, talking. He put this song together. And then when I met him in Vegas, he lives in Florida now, but then I met him in Vegas, I was so apprehensive. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sing this. And he's like, he's like, I think you can sing it. And he goes, I think you can, because what he did was is he made me sing on Facebook Messenger. You know how you can talk on that? And, uh -huh, he, uh -huh. and I would sing on it. So <laughs> And then I saw him, he was like, I know you can do it. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh this is really stretching me. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, I'm, why not, why not? So when we right. looked at the song, there was some things that I didn't really want in the song. So it took us two hours to finish the song completely oh, with some more okay. of the stuff that I wanted. So he taught me how to sing it and how to really uh, explode it in it. And in the song, it reminds you, and that's why this song is so great, because it reminds you to smile and breathe and laugh, right. and that you're the secret, you're you're the one. And I teach. Yep, yeah, remember it was this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. In, it, it's out. Very. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then <laughs> now let's let's bring it in for them, because here I'm having a memory, but they're like, okay, what does it mean, Tamara? <laughs> well, the chorus goes shine. Shine, shine on, raise your vibration. What happens when you raise your vibration? Oh, your energy, yeah. The bad goes away, the good is coming in, and you're just, the energy just flows. Yeah, that's right. yeah. That's right. So that's what Yeah, and it's too some incredible music, too. It just gets yeah. you going, it pumps you up. Oh, it is, it is, yeah. I did it, yeah. We did it from Katy Perry, because I love the band. Uh-huh. And I'm yeah. a dan I'm a dancer. I'm like, yeah. Uh-huh. And so you you get these whole groups that are doing this whole shine, shine on, you know, raise the right vibration. And the whole room, you can feel a shift in the whole room. And that's what is pretty significant because anybody that would be a doubter, because I'm sure there's plenty of them. If they were to come in, they would at least say, wow, did they turn the bright, the lights up brighter or, you know, what? Because there was an, an actual change and um, everybody felt it. It's just it really an cool. Shift. And that's, yeah. that's what I love when yeah. someone calls from a vet. We need somebody to energize our people, but they have a good message. I'm like, I got a great message, great movement, and I'll get your people going. Yeah, yeah, you do. You do. Okay, you know what? Um, I just, I love this too because, you know, you, this is you. This is so you. You know, your energy is just, it's its spectacular. You know, it, and every single time I see you anywhere now, and, and what are you doing? You are just shining. You know, you just really are. I'm going to bring up here, let me, uh, I have to move things around here. I want to bring up this because you've been doing a lot of, different media, TV, podcasts, um, shows, seminars. You're all over the place, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. Well, and I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed by people asking me to. And, and my whole mission, my why I get up in the morning, because I'm telling you, sometimes in the morning, it's challenging with this. It is challenging. But my why and why I do it, is because to share that everybody can feel good and that yep. shine on to really shine from the inside out. So right. I'm blessed that people recognize and they want to they want to partner with me like you.
right now you want to partner right. with me you're involved with the shine on movement oh yeah absolutely i'm a big believer in it absolutely you know and and i'm a big believer in you because you know anytime that someone we you know, because of the buddies movement that I've got for my my nonprofit for, you know, the, the I'm calling it now the buddies network that is sponsored by Chemo Buddies for Life and that healing through connections. Right. It's it's about creating that energy, that 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 forward thinking. And anytime you can bring people in that that have something to offer that's so significant and yet they're overcoming their own stuff you overcome pain every mm -hmm. single day and you also shared that you have overcome um you've learned how to navigate through life with some other challenges right i'm gonna what, let you share what you want to share there yeah that's fine yeah, that's fine it's, it's, what it is is dyslexia. When I was a child, they understood that I had dyslexia. Now, think about it. I'm 56 years young. However, I right. figured that out. They just said you're stupid. But my mama was smart. She said, no, you're special. And I believed her. And also, I was an I'm an athlete. I mean, so right. I was able to use athletics, but yet still, I was considered the stupid one. And the thing is, mm -hmm. is I've had six different corporations that I've owned. You're right. So you right. matter yeah. and you can do anything. And how I navigate is you put it right on the head. I navigate. And anyone that works with me, it's very different. But yet, mm -hmm. Steve Jobs, Einstein. Exactly. They exactly. You know, that's and that's the missing piece right there too that was needed for the dear loved one in my life that that it was like you know what they know that they've got it in them but to have this person that has now this movement has written books that has goes out there and does the amazing things that you do and to know that you deal with pain that you have you navigate through challenges and you always have this amazing spirit and attitude you know that is the example that people that's why i wanted to bring you on i wanted to get you know the beginning of this because people need to understand buddies need to understand that we all have challenges we all have things life presents us opportunities to navigate it yeah. and and you do it with such fun. <laughs> Thank you. And and I will tell you, it is a choice. And I take care of myself to make that choice. And I believe that most of us don't make the choice to put ourselves first to right. be able to do that. I mean, when I knew I was going to be on, I went and laid down. Now, right. if I wouldn't have, I might have been a little more scattered or I might have been in more pain or I wouldn't have been as high energy. But what I do is choose to raise my vibration. And that's what I teach I my empowerment coaching. Because it's about being your cheerleader to tell you and how do you do it. It's easy. Easy. Yeah. You know, and and that's that's what I just love. I am going to actually put something up here because I want people to know how to get a hold of you because there, there are going to be people that are seeing this that are going to say, wow, you know, um, I want, want more shine on. I want to hear the song. I want to find out more about how you have been able to overcome, you know, some pretty significant stuff to to go out there and, and do this. Um, I, I have to bring up another picture because I saw it. It's of a dear friend, a couple of dear friends. You know, I've got, I've got, of course, Crystal Richardson there. And then just the, a couple of days ago, I got to see Frank and I finally got my picture with him, the, the two of us, because he's such, a, he is, he, uh, hint, wink, wink. Uh, he's agreed to show up sometime here soon <laughs> because he is one of my, my all time, if you will, just heroes in life. And um, and I have been following the Make-A-Wish Foundation for a number of years, actually. And um, 
And to have him now at this period of time out there with his movie and, and touring and everything, it's given such an opportunity for us, hasn't it? To be able to, you talk about a story that's difficult, you know, and, and that's the thing is that he never felt sorry for himself. Mm-hmm. You haven't felt sorry for yourself. And, you know, so many of the people that are service heroes and service oriented have had significant challenges, most of them, and they don't feel sorry for themselves. In fact, they feel so privileged to be able to give back. You know, um, I, what I would like to do is give you an opportunity um, because, Angel, you do such in, in helping to raise the frequency and help people to get through difficult times with, you know, your dance and your fun and everything. If if you were to ask, and I know I didn't, I didn't warn you about this one, but if you were to, you give so much, you know, and in the masterminds where we get such, I love the mastermind, uh, Napoleon Hill, for those that haven't uh, done yourself, do yourself a favor and pick up his books, um, find out who he is. But he came up with this mastermind theory years ago, a while ago, and it was, it's about giving. And then you may ask, so you give so much, my dear. What if you were to ask? What would you ask? Well, first of all, first of all I want to say I shout out to Crystal Richardson, who is my chief shine officer. So she helps me. Oh. On the year anniversary, she was there taking pictures, doing the whole. I mean, we want to shout out to her because she is amazing in her biz. Amazing. Lady. I love her. I love her. Yep. She yes. she is a service hero. We yes. she is already. Yes. She is yeah, lover. Yes. And then Frank, I love him. He always says hello to me. He's even online. I mean, he's very personal. I just love all of that. So I want to say yes. that. The other thing is what I want to give, because I'm going to do that first. What I want to give is everybody a meditation. Anybody that I ams me or you find me um, on angel at angelmarieshines.com. Well, that's I, have, I have that too. Let me get that. Let me bring these names down first real quick, and then I'll bring up your um, email address. Okay, I would like uh, to help you with a wonderful meditation. And if you even want more, I have more stuff. I have videos, a three-part series. You tell me what you want. You go ahead and email me with that. That's what I would like to give. So what you're saying, <laughs> you're welcome. Well, it, it really helps. And when I do the empowerment coaching with people one-on-one, right? they love that because they get to leave with a little bit of angel. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes, yes. So, so what yes. would I do? What would I take? Was that that's really yeah? What would yeah? What would you ask if you were to ask? If you were to ask, you know, because of everything that you're doing, and what 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 could help your movement? What would help for your energy to be flowing in a way? Is there something that you would like to ask? I I think that ask is a partner with me. You have a conference come up an event. You know you're going to one, or you just went to one and it was phenomenal, and you go. You know what? Angel needs to be on that stage. Oh, there you go. That is what I I want to get more of the movement out there. And yes, I do that a lot. I'm a lot of different places. But I that's what I would ask is look at where you're working. Are you working in a corporation? Do they have lunch and learns? Call me right. and just I am me and say or and say, hey, get with this person and call and say, I told you. That's what I would ask because I want a partner and I want the movement because you know what's going to happen? Ellen is going to call me. Ellen is going to call me and she's going to be like, I heard about your movement because I'm in schools. Because Mm -hmm. all the school, everybody, I mean, that's what the book, self-esteem, confidence. Right. Yes. Yes. I'm in schools. I'm in corporations. I'm in lunch. So that's my ask. My ask is think about that. I love it. Okay. Well, you know, we, we, we heard, and I'm sure that there's some people out there that are saying, you know, I know that that would work. Now, do you travel outside of your area? Cause you're in the Phoenix area, correct? Correct. Okay. Yep. So for, for, let's say for a lunch and learn and stuff, are, do you try to stay closer to home or do you travel or what is it that you it do? It just really depends on their budget. Like if they knew where I'm going, most of the time if I go to a, a certain area, right. I'm going to call me and Crystal because Crystal's my chief shine officer. 
I love it. I love her. Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to call every college, school, community, everything, and get a whole so that we can keep the maybe the price down a little bit. Right. I have like six or seven, and I stay like three days. Right. And I just keep touring with the book, with the movement, with the song. So it really Perfect. just depends on work with budget. Right. And, you know, and your message really, uh, I want to, schools are great. And also I want to encourage uh, big medical centers and people that have any kind of ailments that they are, uh, they're helping a community of people that, like my community, you know, the, the buddies community, um, to, to be able to feel as though the empowerment of, of bringing that energy in and then what it can do for helping them to heal and then to go beyond. And so I thank you for that. That's awesome. That is just wonderful. I you know, I could I could talk I could talk with you all day. You know, you just have that kind of energy and I just absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and 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 start ending now. And and what I want to what I want to do is I I want to bring up one of your sayings that I actually captured and it was, as you think, you vibrate. And as you vibrate, you attract. And I, I really loved that because of that little drop of water. But then you see how, it, you know, the rings, we all know that, that idea, the, you know, the, how the pond goes and, and how that trickle effect works. And, and I, you know, when, when we start visiting and I said that one piece of puzzle, you know, that's the little drop in my mind when it comes to what it is that you're doing and what I will always forever be grateful for, you know, and it's, it's already started to reach out because of that person and what she's doing. And, and that's, that's, I thought you caught it, what you're doing and what I see in you so well in that, that. So I want to thank you for that. And, and um, as we close out, day number 82. Yeah, and I want to say kudos to you for what you're doing. Make sure, um, you know, you are really doing some amazing things. So kudos to you. And is there anything that I can do personally? Well, you know, if you want to uh, catch a ride with some of our service heroes from the Phoenix area and come out to David Fagan's Spirit Summits. This time it's going to be in, in Los Angeles. And uh, we are going to, he is giving, he is giving the service hero message and all of us 90 minutes to talk about, I know it's huge, <laughs> um, he, to talk about the service hero program and to highlight many of us and take pictures and do the whole thing. And if you can find uh, the if you're not busy and if you can come out it will the more of us that come the more of our message is going to go forward and there is some really cool stuff coming around the corner because so many people are really really enjoying the idea of highlighting good you know and the good the good is there's so much of it and and in the messages that we get bombarded with you know breaking news here and 24 hours you know about it after it can start to take you down and we need to unplug we need to unplug from it not be unaware but to unplug and then to then to be able to go back to the basics and that my grandmother always said a random act of kindness if someone writes a thank you note what she would always do is she would tear it in half and she would keep those two halves but it would remind her not to say anything because that was something personal between the person that wrote the note and her. And she didn't want to take that blessing away from that person. And she wanted to hold on to that specialness of that service to her. And, and when I think about all of the movements and the, the little droplet of water and how it, the puddle, you know, the, the lake, and even the ocean and where it affects and where it goes, that little droplet of water is a positive and we can make it change the face of this earth. And so um, if you can make it out there for the 21st and 22nd of September, I'd love it. And anybody that wants to come and support us, um, let me know because you know what, this movement, I, I, I have a movement within my movement now because I the the buddies 
they are getting so much out of it and all of these wonderful people are embracing them and it is we it's time for us to do the domino effect of the good so enough of my soapbox <laughs> no, but i hear you i will see what i can do in getting there to support you okay. and to support david because i love david and allison and everyone from the spirit summit and yes he probably be there and i'll be good to see him again yes yes so many of them all right well my dear number 82 service here day number 82 uh 365 days of awesome celebrate success through service angel marie monticelli you are a service hero of the best the you know you are all high up on that hill if you will but i don't want to make it and so boastful but beautiful and 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 with a, a sincere thank you for what you did for someone personal in my life with your message a sincere thank you for being on here today and showing how even through pain you can you can find that energy to overcome it and giving us some concrete tools today concrete tools on how to do it i am ever so grateful ever so grateful for you thank and you you're welcome and as we close today guys I, I i bet angel will join with me in saying you know that little droplet of water that image i'm going to bring it back up even it has image, a ripple effect it's rippling down exactly so join us join us in this ripple effect and that small note remember my grandmother that she even would tear it and so she would remember to keep it between the two that was something there service doesn't have to be big and bold it can be that random act of kindness it can be that thank you written said text however it can be a smile and and let's do this let's be the ripple effect for good and and i just want to encourage you all to ripple away <laughs> right <laughs> Yes. And shine on, shine uh, on, shine on. That's right. We're going to shine on and we're going to say goodbye for today. And I will see everybody tomorrow. Bye. Bye.